This video is sponsored by Noragon, the commercial vehicle data experts. Visit noragon.com to learn more. All right, we'll send this truck to Bay 2. Peter can check out the tread depth and the tire pressure. We might have a casing issue. Logan's gonna check the truck's after treatment system in Bay 3. Well, I am impressed. You are getting pretty good at this. Oh, come on. Remote diagnostics is child's play now. When do we get into some of the more updated things that you can do with all your data upgrade stuff? Don't get cocky, kid. One step at a time. Uh huh. I don't recognize this fault code. I guess I'll, I guess I'll send it to Charles to triage in bay two. Uh, that's related to ADAS. What's ADAS? You know, advanced driver assistance systems, lane keep, adaptive cruise, things like that. All right, well, come on, I'll show you. What is this, another one of your upgrades? Yeah. Are you an X-Men fan? What, like comic books? Are you serious? How old are you? Never mind. Just stand still and keep quiet. These glasses allow me to connect to every truck telematics signal in the world and display them here. And these are the safety critical events. Harsh braking, speeding, and every time the advanced driver assistance systems like emergency braking assist and lane keep assist activate. Wow, there are so many of them. Yes. Advanced radar and camera systems integrate into the truck's braking and steering controls to help mitigate accidents. And while there's not a lot of preventative maintenance that we need to keep an eye on when it comes to ADOS, there is a need for investment in equipment and tools to make sure the systems are updated and calibrated properly. While I keep an eye on our trucks, I'll connect you with Noragon's Scott Bolt to give you more insight into what ADOS service means for truck shops. Today I'd like to talk to you about um, ADAS systems and what their most challenging effects are on, on the service industry. Um, some of the most challenging effects are just knowing what tools to use and knowing what procedures are going to now require ADAS calibration. A lot of people may believe that ADAS is only for autonomous vehicles, but it's not really. Uh, certainly, ADAS is part of autonomy, um, but the ADAS systems that have been growing for years, um, anywhere from lane departures to automatic speed control regulation, um, to a number of other features that are making it so that um, the driver, the driver help systems that are built into the vehicles nowadays can be realigned. So as an example, um, in the past, if you had a broken windshield, you replaced it and that was it. Nowadays, because a lot of the camera systems are mounted to the mirrors, which are mounted on the um, windshield, and just replacing the windshield requires you to recalibrate the camera systems um, before if you broke your um, your grid, your um, radiator grid, but you just replaced the plastic, it was no big deal. Today that houses a radar sensor that's used for speed control sensing and distance. Um, the lane departure cameras and lane departure um, radar can be along the side of the vehicle or in the side mirrors. So again, all these things require, require alignment and calibration and the tools to do that with. We're ahead of the ADAS service game because we have this light duty system here for our pickups and vans that run parts for us from our shops, but we're gonna have to invest in heavy duty ADAS service equipment. Yeah, and probably training for our technicians. Yeah, for sure. Like maybe we could open like a special school for like gifted technicians. All right, I thought you didn't know X-Men. Comics are for nerds, right? Well, yeah, I watched the cartoon as a kid though. Okay, well. Be sure to catch our next episode, True Believers, when we go behind the scenes of service software updates to find out how they provide your shop with fantastic new abilities. I guess you could say they mutate. Okay, that's enough. What? I'm just giving you a hard time. It's, it's adorable. I, why you gotta...